Hi, I'm Chip Ward with the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks, and today I'm at the lake at Trace State Park to give you the information you need to know about dam repairs that are about to take place. My name's Larry Pugh. I'm the Fisheries Bureau Director with the Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks. We're here at Trace State Park uh, to talk about some dam repairs we've got going on here at the lake. You can see behind me the challenges we're facing because of this slide that has now gotten into the crest or the top of the dam and into the core or the middle of the dam. The integrity of the dam is being questioned and we've been notified by the Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality, get the water out and get ready to repair it. So that, that's our goal. We want to get the water out, let it dry up so we can get equipment in here to, to not only repair this slide on the back side, but to repair the slides that have formed on the front. This is not anybody's fault. What you're dealing with are old structures that was built by the NRCS back in the 60s. And over time, those sandy soils will start to give way. Uh, we've, we experienced a similar problem at another lake here in Lee County, Lake Lamar Bruce, back in 2011. And we completed those repairs in 2013, and it's now opened back up for fishing. People are gonna ask, well, what's happening to the fish? You know, we're trying to minimize how many fish we lose. Our biologists and our hatchery staff are gonna remove some of these fish with some gear that we have available for our use. And we're gonna take these adults and we're gonna put them in the existing lake that still remains, that's located right behind the office, and uh, stop, put those adults in that body of water so the anglers that still come out and fish the smaller body of water, you know, those fish will be there. And we're probably gonna end up taking some adults to Tom Bigby State Park, which is about 25 minutes from here. Now people are gonna ask, what's the timeline? We don't know. We're hoping to get in and get this thing repaired through the construction season, which is normally the dry season. Uh, so hopefully if we could get in here in June, July, finish, you know, through Thanksgiving, we close the valve, we're able to catch rains. Uh, how long it takes to fill back up depends on mother nature. We'll just keep an eye on it. Obviously, we're concerned about the fish population. This is a popular place to fish. So we'll monitor that. Uh, we'll probably restock largemouth bass, bluegill, red ear, and channel catfish along with crappie. Uh, once we start getting the repairs complete, shut the valve off, and start letting the water come back up. If you'd like to know more about state parks, state lakes, and fishing opportunities, you can find that information online at mdwfp.com.